here's how to play the song Feeling Good, and we're playing this in the style of Muse. So I'm in drop D tuning. So the E string is tuned down to the D note. Uh, but the first chord that's played, uh, the first notes that I heard, is a G minor chord. And we could play that just by using a D minor chord shape, but with the first finger up at the 6th fret, middle finger at 7th, third finger at 8th. And I'm plucking that with my first three fingers, all plucking into the hand like this, very lightly. And then the bass would play. So this is the fifth fret. Five, three, three, one, one, zero, three, zero, three, five, three, three, one, one, zero, three, zero, three. Can even do it all with one finger. Because we're in drop D tuning, this means that we can play power chords always just with one finger on the, uh, just by playing the thickest three strings, so string four, five, and six, and a flat first finger. Now if you need to move your first finger up or down a little bit, do whatever feels comfortable. And this is perfect training to be able to play power chords and bar chords. Um, which this could be uh, a song where a lot of people can't quite play bar chords or anything yet. So this is really great training. You could also do this with your middle finger or your third finger. It really doesn't matter, but um, I would recommend trying it with your first finger for those of you that haven't got bar chords mastered yet, because it just works on building this muscle between our thumb and our first finger, and that's the one that we need to get our bar chord strength out of, using the same moves, basically. Once that's happened a few times, we play this variation, which goes like this. All that happened there was, I went, uh, once I got to the third fret, I went second, first, and then open. And then we're going to go to the octave, so this is 12th fret, to 10, to 8, and 7. Still played in the same fashion, still with the same rhythm. Here's what it sounds like all together. Feeling good if we learn this one because then it really rocks out. Okay, so from up here, 12, 12, 10, 12, 8, 7, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 11, 12. One more time all together. 3, 4. to the main riff. Real silence between every one as well. So we're muting with the outside of the palm of our hand and how long you do that silence for is all part of the riff. If you play, or it sounds very different, is my point. So let's just play the whole riff twice the lower one and then the one that goes all the way through, starting off with that one twice. Play along with me if you can. Three, four.
That's how to play Feeling Good, the Muse version. Please check out these other couple of videos that I have on screen now that I've chosen for you, and you can check out more easy tutorials right now.